This video is going to show you how to solve a race style problem in kinematics. A race style problem is one where we have two bodies side by side. In the simplest form, they start together at the same time and they end to cover the same distance at the same time, so they end together. And that's the kind of uh, problem that this video is going to talk about. So two cars are side by side. The red car is traveling at 15 meters per second while accelerating at 1 meter per second. When the cars are side by side, the yellow car begins to accelerate at 3 meters per second from rest. So you can see in the diagram that the yellow car doesn't begin moving until the red car gets right next to it at the white line on the left. And they travel the same distance to get to the right line at the white, right at the same time. So the question is, how much time passes before the cars are side by side again? Every time you have an acceleration, you should have a list of givens. In this case, I have two accelerations in my problem, so I'm going to have two lists of givens. I'll look for word and unit clues. The yellow car starts from rest, so there's a word clue that's initial velocity is zero. The yellow car also has an acceleration of 3 meters per second squared, so there's a unit clue. The red car is moving at 15 meters per second when they're side by side on the white line on the left, so that's the initial velocity. And the red car is speeding up at 1 meter per second squared, so that's an acceleration for the red car. So for each one of these cars, I have a velocity and I have an acceleration. And that's going to be true whenever we're doing these kinds of problems. They're always going to have a velocity and acceleration. If the problem says one of the, one of the cars is moving at a constant velocity, that means that the acceleration is zero. It doesn't mean it's not there. It just means that the acceleration is zero whenever it says constant velocity. So now let's move on. To solve this, I know they both travel the same distance in the same amount of time. So I can use that to create two equations and two unknowns, which means I need one equation with x, t, v0, and a. In this case, that equation is going to be our long one, x equals x0 plus v0 t plus 1 f a t squared. So I have that equation for both setups. Now I'm going to put in the numbers from the column above it. So when I do that for the red car, I get the x is equal to 15 meters per second times time plus a half times 1 meter per second squared times t squared. I do the same thing for the yellow car, putting in the numbers above to get x is equal to 1 half 3 meters per second squared times t squared. Now I need to be able to solve these two problems. So what I know about this problem is I know the two cars cover the same distance in the same amount of time. So t and x for each equation are the same. What this means is that the distance the red car travels is the same as the distance the yellow car travels. So I can set these two equations equal to each other. I can set the 0 plus 0 equals 1 half 3 meters per second squared times t squared equal to 15 meters per second times t plus 1 half times 1 meter per second squared times t squared. Now that I have them like this, I can then group like terms and set it all equal to zero. Then I can use the distributive property to pull out t. So t equals zero or the stuff in parentheses equals zero. So there are my two solutions. Either t equals zero or zero is equal to t minus 15, which means t equals 15 seconds. So that makes sense. The two cars are side by side at t equals zero seconds and they're side by side at the end of the race after 15 seconds. So that's the answer to the question, 15 seconds. So now what do you need to show for full credit? So when I'm looking at all this, what I'm looking for is two lists of givens. Two accelerations, two lists of givens. I'm looking for the variables in my list, I'm looking for the numbers, and I'm looking for the units. Arrows as well. I want to know directions on all the vector quantities. So everything has arrows right now except time. And I'm looking for a formula with variables, and then a formula with numbers and units in it. I'm also looking for this expression that tells me that you realize that the two x's are equal to each other. x subscript for one item equals x subscript for the other item. Something to indicate that my two distances are the same. Then I'm looking for a few math steps where I don't really need the units at this point. Suppress those units because we're all working in the same system. And then a new numerical answer with answers. Oh, sorry, numerical answer, numbers, and units on my answer. So that's what I'm looking for to grade this to give you all the credit. Here's a quick summary of everything that's, that I've shown. But wait, there are more things we can solve for. So if I look at all this, I've got all my givens up here. And now I can find the distance the car has traveled. Either car, the yellow or the red, it doesn't matter because they travel the same distance in the same amount of time. So when I'm looking at this, I can, don't need to worry about my formulas, but now I have a new given. I have time. So now I have the time is equal to 15 seconds for each car. So now I have three givens for each item. So when I'm looking at this. I've got my original equation that I've had before. And I can use either one of these equations to figure out how much distance it traveled, either the blue equation or the red. 
So I'm going to use the blue, plug in my numbers, and my time is what I just calculated. So that's the 15 seconds. So now I've got one half, three meters per second squared times 15 seconds squared, and that gives me the distance of 337.5 meters. So they both traveled the same distance. That was one of our notions about this type of problem, the simplest form of a race problem. But wait, there's more I can solve for. So if I look at this, I can also find the velocity. So I'm going to look for the velocity of the red car, the final velocity of the red car. I have V, V naught, I'm sorry, I have V naught A and T, and I'm looking for V, which tells me to use the VOAT formula. V equals V naught plus AT. So I'll put in my values above 15 meters per second plus 1 meter per second squared times 15 seconds. Do the math, and I find the red car is moving 30 meters per second. Unlike distance and time, the velocities are going to be different. The yellow car is actually going to have a different velocity. It's going to have a velocity of 45 meters per second when I do the math. So they're not necessarily the same. What is the same, though, is the average velocity for each car, which is kind of interesting. But it makes sense because they travel the same distance in the same amount of time, and average velocity is distance divided by time. So it makes sense that they would have the same average velocity.